most banks nowadays implement a one time password mechanism where before you once you enter credit card information an sms is sent to you and that sms has a unique uh, password only if you enter that unique password does the transaction go through so in such a scenario not only does your credit card information need to be stolen but also your mobile phone physically needs to be stolen from you only then somebody can misuse your credit card so the chances or the probability of both happening simultaneously and you not realizing so you you will not report it to the bank are very low so i think with uh, sms verification is the is the way to go even for wifi access for example i was reading uh, just a week ago that government in uh, in andhra pradesh is going to give free wifi for 6 months to everybody now in such a scenario i could put it enter your name and pretend to be you and connect to the internet commit a crime and legally then you will be responsible so the only way to verify an identity is through sms because mobile phone the assumption is before i get my connection i have given my id proof so proper verification has been done so if i receive the password through sms on my mobile phone then i cannot steal your identity because the verification document on my number is is my documents uh, the assumption is that at least the documents have not been forged on social media so only accept people that you trust and don't make your profile public so only people who are your friends can see you what you're posting next comes what should we what should you be posting you should only post that is maybe generic information if it's something uh, person then maybe you can personally send a private message to a few people or a few of your friends but don't put it on your timeline or your wall because somebody else may maybe your friends have commented or not liked it then friends of your friends will be able to see it as well so you have to be careful about what you post don't post uh, personal photographs don't post your phone number or your address or if you are going on vacation try and uh, avoid posting that you are going on vacation because abroad there are a lot of uh, criminals or robbers who monitor on twitter that oh you have gone on vacation so nobody is at home so now they'll uh, you know break into your house and steal your jewelry cash and tv and everything from your house so try and avoid posting such personal details about your travel plans or about your kids or children or maybe even your uh, you know personal life avoid posting that from a common mistake that young people make is that say some students they they you know go out drinking or partying or something and they post photos of that on facebook and the idea is that okay, i'm just showing to my friends but when they apply for a job later on a lot of companies look at your social profile as well before giving you a job so it's very important very careful uh, very important from a career perspective as well that you are careful about what you post on social media